Hello friends and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment. Well in this video we'll see how to fit all the columns in an excel file and print. So sometimes it might be difficult to do that. So let us see in the laptop how to do it easily. Uh, so as you can see this is the excel file. Here uh, there are a lot of columns like up to column number O. Uh, the data is there. If I just simply uh, press print or control P. Uh, I'll go here to show you. Uh, print you can see up to this column it is coming uh, it is showing in the print preview like quantity 6 if you can see here you can see closely uh, this is the line to the left side of which the print is usually done uh, beyond this page in the right side these two columns are left out so how to include these two columns easily while printing so first of all I just want to uh, make this as wide as possible okay so one second when i see uh, you can see this column product five is coming not even uh, quantity six you can see three columns are left out so how to print these three columns easily so once again i go to print settings here uh, i press ctrl p or you can go to this uh, file and print here you can see microsoft print to pdf you can select a real printer also uh, when you are taking print out uh, first of all you have to change the orientation uh, it is already in landscape orientation if it is in portrait orientation for example by any chance you have to first do it in landscape orientation once landscape orientation comes you have the maximum amount of uh, space left for printing columns so here what you do instead of no scaling and the last you can see instead of no scaling go for fit all columns on one page once i do that it will automatically fit all the columns in one page by reducing the size or else you can manually do that by custom scaling options once you press here custom scaling options it has you can see it has already adjusted it to 83 percent automatically so if it is 100 percent uh, this only product five this column is coming so if you go for custom scaling and go on gradually reducing the percentage you can also fit in all the columns in one page so the easiest way is to just go here fit all columns on one page once you do that it will uh, identify the best possible uh, optimum size or percentage uh, to print your page so if i uh, really do that i'll print it here you can see page one of six it has automatically like calculated how many pages would be required to print six pages just for the sake of this video i'll print it in pdf so i'll just press print you can see it is printing now i have to save it somewhere so maybe in uh, desktop so it is now printing and uh, let me see so this is the file you can see all the pages have come in one page so there are somewhere like uh, six pages which has been printed had you printed uh, in a real printer six physical or hard copies would have come so friends uh, this is it in this video i hope it uh, helped you to print very easily all the columns in excel into one page no need to go on custom scaling and uh, reducing the percentage one by one or gradually just press custom all columns in one page well it is only helpful when you have some columns like two to three columns extra apart from your data which can be printed if it is more columns like 10 to 15 columns then the size will be reduced drastically so in those cases you have to uh, like uh, maybe create separate files or separate pages to uh, print uh, those uh, print those white excel files uh, so friends that's it in this video i hope this video has helped you to print excel in an easy way if the file is a little bit wider uh, which may not come in one go in your print settings so friends keep watching infotainment we will be coming up with more of such videos thanks for watching this video